SpaceX engineers are in panic mode. Ship 37's engine just passed a perfect test. Then mysterious sensor data revealed something so dangerous, they're tearing apart the entire launch pad at 12.30 a.m. We're talking emergency midnight engine swaps and potentially catastrophic flight delays. But here's the terrifying part. What if this same hidden flaw exists in every starship? Let's dive right in. Let's rewind to August 1st, 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Ship 37 sits on the test stand, all six Raptor engines roaring to life in what everyone thinks is picture-perfect harmony. For 40 seconds, those engines pump out a combined 1.2 million pounds of thrust, enough to power a small city. No visible flames, no explosions, no drama. SpaceX engineers are high-fiving. Elon tweets his confidence. The world thinks Ship 37 just aced its final exam. But here's what nobody knew. While human eyes saw perfection, thousands of sensors were screaming warnings that would make your blood run cold. Picture this. Every millisecond during that test, Ship 37's engines were generating 50,000 data points. Temperature readings, pressure fluctuations, vibration patterns, fuel flow rates. It's like having 50,000 doctors monitoring your heartbeat simultaneously. And buried in that mountain of data was a death sentence waiting to happen. The vacuum Raptor engine, the one designed to operate in the deadly void of space, was showing microscopic pressure anomalies lasting just 0.003 seconds. To put that in perspective, you blink your eyes 100 times longer than these anomalies lasted. But in rocket engine terms, those tiny fluctuations were like finding cancer cells in a blood test. Here's why this is absolutely terrifying. Vacuum Raptor engines use regenerative cooling. Imagine trying to cool a blowtorch by running liquid nitrogen through hair-thin channels carved inside the metal. These channels are smaller than human veins, and if even one develops a microcrack, the entire engine becomes a 500,000-pound thrust bomb waiting to explode. Fast forward to August 5th, 12.30 a.m., while most of Starbase sleeps, emergency crews are frantically working under floodlights. They're not just swapping an engine, they're performing emergency surgery on the most complex machine ever built by humans. But here's where this story gets absolutely insane. SpaceX didn't just swap the engine. They completely rebuilt the entire test infrastructure they had just torn down 48 hours earlier. We're talking about moving 20-ton ring walls, reinstalling 15 precision hold-down clamps, and recalibrating systems that take teams of engineers hours to perfect. Why would they go through this massive undertaking for just one engine swap? Because they discovered something that could destroy not just Ship 37, but potentially the entire Starship program. Here's what likely shocked those engineers into emergency mode. The sensor data revealed that the cooling channels in the vacuum raptor weren't just showing anomalies. They were showing signs of systematic failure that could affect every Vacuum Raptor engine ever built. Think about it like this. If you discovered a design flaw in one pacemaker, you'd immediately recall every pacemaker made with the same design. But SpaceX can't recall engines already installed in ships 38, 39, and beyond. They can only prevent a catastrophe by catching it now. The Vacuum Raptor operates at 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt copper instantly. In space, there's no atmosphere to help cool the engine. If those cooling channels fail, the engine doesn't just shut down, it explodes with the force of several tons of TNT. And that explosion could trigger a cascade failure, destroying adjacent engines and potentially the entire vehicle. But there's an even more terrifying possibility lurking beneath the surface. What if this flaw exists in every vacuum Raptor engine SpaceX has ever built? What if Ship 37's engine was just the first to show symptoms of a systematic design issue? Consider this nightmare scenario. Ship 37 launches successfully, reaches space, and then suffers catastrophic engine failure during its space phase. The explosion doesn't just destroy Ship 37. It creates thousands of pieces of debris in orbit, potentially triggering Kessler syndrome and making space inaccessible for decades. That's not just a SpaceX problem. That's a humanity problem, and it explains why SpaceX engineers were working at midnight to completely rebuild their test infrastructure. Here's where the stakes become astronomical. 
NASA Administrator Bill Nelson recently confirmed that Starship AHLS must be ready for Artemis III, America's return to the moon. Every day of delay potentially hands China the advantage in the new space race. But imagine being the engineer who has to sign off on an engine that could potentially explode in space. The pressure is crushing, literally the weight of human space exploration on your shoulders. One wrong decision doesn't just delay a mission. It could end America's lunar ambitions and hand space supremacy to China. This explains SpaceX's unprecedented response. They're not just fixing an engine. They're potentially saving the entire Western space program. Here's what makes this situation uniquely terrifying. Vacuum Raptor engines aren't just bigger versions of sea-level Raptors. They're completely different beasts operating at the absolute limits of physics. A sea-level Raptor operates at about 300 bar of pressure. That's like having 4,400 pounds pressing on every square inch. But a vacuum Raptor's cooling system operates at even higher pressures while dealing with the thermal shock of going from 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit combustion to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit space in milliseconds. When you swap a vacuum Raptor, you're not just changing an engine. You're potentially altering the entire vehicle's thermal dynamics, weight distribution, and structural loading. Even tiny manufacturing differences between engines can create resonant frequencies that literally shake the spacecraft apart. This is why SpaceX needs a full static fire test instead of just spinning the engines. They need to verify that every single system integration point works perfectly under the extreme conditions the engine will face. Here's what makes this crisis even more dramatic. SpaceX was already racing against impossible deadlines. The Ship 36 explosion at Massey's site cost them precious weeks. Now this engine issue threatens to push Flight 10 into September, creating cascading delays throughout the entire 2024 manifest. But there's a deeper, more troubling implication. If SpaceX's most advanced diagnostic systems are discovering critical flaws in engines that passed all previous tests, what does this say about the hundreds of engines already built and waiting for installation? Are there other hidden time bombs waiting in the engine production line? How many more midnight emergency swaps will SpaceX need before they achieve true reliability? Here's the question that keeps SpaceX executives awake at night. If their most sophisticated sensors and AI-driven analysis systems miss this flaw until post-test data review, what other critical issues are flying under the radar? SpaceX builds these engines using manufacturing techniques that didn't exist five years ago. 3D printed metal components, exotic alloys with names like SX500, cooling channels carved with laser precision. They're operating at the bleeding edge of what's physically possible, but bleeding edge technology comes with bleeding edge risks. Every time you push the boundaries of physics, you discover new ways things can fail catastrophically. While everyone focuses on Ship 37's engine drama, there's another shocking development that reveals just how serious this crisis really is. Booster 16 is reportedly planned for expendable mode. That means no recovery, no reuse, just controlled destruction in the Gulf of Mexico. This is unprecedented. B-16 represents millions of dollars in cutting-edge hardware. Why would SpaceX deliberately destroy it unless they've discovered something that makes recovery too dangerous? The most chilling possibility the engine issues in Ship 37 revealed integration problems that could endanger Mechazilla during the catch sequence. Maybe the booster ship combination creates resonances or thermal conditions that could damage the tower's catching arms. If that's true, then this isn't just about one faulty engine. It's about fundamental design issues that threaten the entire reusability concept that makes Starship economically viable. While SpaceX struggles with these engineering nightmares, China and Russia are advancing their lunar ambitions at breakneck speed. Their International Lunar Research Station aims to establish permanent moon bases by 2035, complete with nuclear reactors and resource extraction facilities. Every day SpaceX spends fixing engines is another day China gains in the race for space supremacy. But here's the terrifying trade-off. Rushing could lead to catastrophic failure that sets the entire program back by years. NASA's response reveals just how desperate the situation has become. They're fast-tracking a 100-kilowatt nuclear reactor to the moon by 2030, more than double their original target. This isn't exploration anymore. 
It's a technological arms race with the future of human civilization at stake. But perhaps the most revealing detail is what SpaceX is quietly building while everyone watches the engine swap. A massive hardened bunker near the launch tower. We're talking about reinforced concrete foundations designed to withstand explosive forces that could level city blocks. Why build military-grade protection unless you know something catastrophic could happen? This suggests SpaceX engineers are preparing for the possibility of spectacular failures during the development process. The bunker isn't just about protecting people, it's about protecting the program itself. One catastrophic RUD could destroy years of infrastructure development and billions in investment. Here's what makes this engine crisis truly terrifying. It's not just affecting Ship 37. Every starship in the production pipeline potentially faces the same issues. Ship 38, 39, 40. They could all need similar emergency modifications. But SpaceX doesn't have the luxury of stopping production. They need to maintain their aggressive launch schedule while simultaneously redesigning critical systems. It's like performing surgery while running a marathon. The financial implications are staggering. Each engine swap costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Each delayed flight costs millions. And if they discover systematic flaws requiring fleet-wide modifications, we're talking about costs that could threaten the entire program's viability. But here's what gives SpaceX engineers hope. The Raptor 3 engine represents a quantum leap in propulsion technology. Unlike previous engines that needed external heat shields and complex cooling systems, Raptor 3 integrates everything into a single streamlined package. The engine looks almost alien in its simplicity. Gone are the hundreds of external components replaced by 3D printed integrated systems that eliminate most potential failure points. If a component can't break, it can't cause catastrophic failure. Raptor 3 produces 280 tons of thrust, 30% more than the original Raptor, while being 200 kilograms lighter and requiring 1,000 kilograms less support hardware. It's like comparing a smartphone to a 1990s computer, but Raptor 3 won't be ready for Ship 37. This flight depends on Raptor 2 technology with all its complexities and potential failure modes. Put yourself in the shoes of those SpaceX engineers working through the night. You have sensor data showing potential systematic flaws in engines that must work perfectly in the vacuum of space. You have NASA breathing down your neck about Artemis timelines. You have China racing ahead with their own lunar ambitions. Do you rush the fix and risk catastrophic failure? Or do you take the time needed to ensure absolute reliability, knowing that every delay hands China another advantage in the space race? There's no right answer only the crushing weight of responsibility for humanity's future in space. The truly shocking part isn't that SpaceX found a problem with Ship 37's engine. The shocking part is realizing how many critical issues might still be hidden in their systems, waiting to surface at the worst possible moment. SpaceX is building the most complex machines in human history, pushing the absolute limits of physics and engineering. Every success is a minor miracle. Every failure teaches lessons that advance human knowledge. But as they race to make humanity a multi-planetary species, they're discovering that the universe doesn't care about human timelines. Physics has its own schedule, and it's not negotiable. So here's what really keeps me up at night. We just watched SpaceX engineers discover a potentially catastrophic flaw in their most advanced engine through microscopic data analysis that lasted mere milliseconds. They responded with midnight emergency operations, completely rebuilding infrastructure, and potentially sacrificing millions in hardware. This level of dedication and precision is what separates SpaceX from every other aerospace company in history. But it also reveals something profound. We're literally one engineering decision away from either becoming a multi-planetary species or watching our space dreams explode in spectacular fashion. The question isn't whether SpaceX will overcome this engine crisis. They always do. The question is, what happens when we're not just testing rockets in Texas, but depending on them to keep human colonies alive on Mars? What do you think? Are we pushing too hard, too fast? Or is this exactly the kind of risk humanity needs to take? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see how this crisis unfolds, make sure you're subscribed, because Flight 10 is going to be absolutely wild. 
The future of space exploration is being written right now, one midnight engine swap at a time. Two hundred fifty tons to orbit. SpaceX engineers called Elon insane when he revealed Starship's expendable mode. Until they saw the math, this wasteful rocket could launch three entire space stations while others struggle with one satellite. But here's the part that shocked everyone: Musk might abandon reusability, his biggest obsession. For this, why would the king of rocket reuse suddenly go backwards? The real reason could reshape space forever. Let's dive right in. Picture this. SpaceX's top engineers gathered in a conference room, staring at calculations that shouldn't be possible. For months, they'd been beating their heads against the reusability wall. Every simulation showed the same brutal truth. Making Starship's upper stage reusable was engineering hell. Then someone dropped the forbidden question. What if we just throw it away? Dead silence. This wasn't just any suggestion. This was heresy against everything Musk preached. Reusability was supposed to be the holy grail. The thing that would make space as cheap as flying southwest. But then the numbers started flowing. And holy hell, what they saw broke their brains. Here's what was driving these engineers absolutely insane. When Starship screams back through Earth's atmosphere at 17,500 miles per hour, it doesn't just get hot, it becomes a literal meteor. The heat doesn't scale with speed, it scales with the square of speed. What does that mean? Even a tiny speed increase creates massive heat. We're talking surface temperatures of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt titanium instantly, hot enough to glow white hot like a star. To survive this thermal hell, every reusable starship needs 18,000 individual heat shield tiles. 18,000. Each one handcrafted. Each one critical. If even 50 tiles fail, the entire vehicle